Hello YouTube, this is Tag, back with another quick tutorial on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, I'm sure everybody, not everybody, but people are super excited about this campsite right here. Um, this is how you get some new villagers, but there's also another way um, that is not so straightforward. Um, but after you've built the campsite, come visit the villager that's in here. Talk to him, and he's going to talk about trying to move here. Now, when you do that, um, and you've talked with him, we'll talk with him quick. This is Tex. He already wants to move in, so he's not going to say the same stuff. But you're going to leave. You're going to wind up going over to your resident services and talking to Tom Nook and Isabel. Well, Tom Nook. He's going to tell you that you need to set another plot for the villager. Um, so he'll give you another tent. And, and it's not like the last time where you had to you know, set things outside and give them furniture. You're literally just going to come right over here to your uh, town residence services. You're going to talk to Tom Nook. He's going to talk to you about uh, setting up the campsite or the, uh, the house plot. And then you're going to go set it. So, so I'll show you where I set mine. And then I'm going to show you guys how to set other plots because I'm sure a lot of people just button mashed right through the conversation. So we'll show you guys how to do that afterwards. So as, um, after you set your first plot, you have to go back and talk to him and then talk to um, the, the that camper again. So this is where Tex is gonna be moving, right next to Cat. Um, so as you can see, I have another plot here. So there is a way that you guys could just do this and I'll show you guys, I think I have the bells on me. I need to go get some bells. We're gonna get some bells while we're doing this. Cause you need the money up front. So you're gonna go back to Tom Nook. He's gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, we we really shouldn't be doing this, uh, you know, scrambling every time we need a villager. Oh, how about we sell some land? So I'll show you guys how to do that. Let's grab, it is 10,000 bells. So we'll grab 10,000 bells. All right, that's withdrawn. And we're gonna go right back over to Tom Nook. So. We're going to talk to Tom Nook, and then we're going to go into the uh, infrastructure section again. Let's talk infrastructure. And then there's going to be an option in here to sell land. Sell some land. Okay. It is a small fee of 10,000, um, but you'll earn miles as people move in. Um, sure will. Cool. 10,000. He's going to give you another housing plot and then you're just going to go place it wherever you want to. Now I, for one, am trying to move people in onto the right side of the island because the other side is pretty kind of densely like compacted until I can get my, uh, my terraforming. Here we go. So now what I'm doing is I'm trying to sort of make it even. So right behind Kat's house. Let me imagine it. Let's see what the house will look like. I think that's a little too far back. Let's move this tree. All right, and we're back. The trees are moved. All right, now let's imagine this one now. And that looks good to me now. We can always move them later. So. Now, you guys do not need to have somebody move in here right away, but I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Um, just like how we got our first three uh, villagers, you had the option to get the first three villagers, you can do the island tours. When I did get that first plot, I did find a villager on an island tour immediately. So hopefully that'll happen again. All right, we are back. We are on an island. Let's see if we can find somebody walking around. So far, nobody. Well. Wow. All right, let's try this again. All right, touchdown on our second island. Hopefully there's somebody here. Oh, did I just, what, is this Tyrantial Island? 
Well, we were here looking for villagers. Oh. Maybe it's not Tyrantial Island. Maybe these are all just money rocks. Talk about a rare island. It is, they're money rocks. What? Guys, I found Money Rock Island. I wasn't expecting that for this video. Still haven't still haven't found that other villager though. <laughs> I'm gonna deem this Money Rock Island, guys. How to make bank on one island, man. Everything that I, every rock that I've hit is, has money on it. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, my shovel broke. What a fitting time for it to break, huh? I wonder. So luckily, I don't need my uh, my shovel anymore. Bam. No, nope, okay. Just a, just a stone. Let's. Let's test this out though. We're gonna go grab some more fruit. Stone, another stone, another stone, and another stone. So that first one that we hit was a money, money one. So the first one that was blocking this off had money as your thing when you broke it. So you'd be able to pull vault over uh, the rest afterwards, after you've already gathered all the money out of it, it's just going to be stones. That. Now I'm starting to wonder if you can only have two two villagers on deck, sort of thing. So I have Tex waiting and I have a uh, Deirdre waiting because I did try this out beforehand. I never made another shovel. All right, guys. So after testing and testing and testing and spending numerous numerous amount of nook miles tickets it looks like you can only get one villager per day and i am not one to time skip um, i do want to prove to you though that i do have somebody on deck um this is deidra i found her on an, on an island um she is a deer so definitely uh follow the steps that i told you talk to tom nook tell him about the infrastructure tell him you want to set up another plot you don't have to have somebody move in right away. You're not going to see the initial investment right away. But even still, set up those plots so people just don't randomly move in. I mean, I don't think they can, but, you know, set them up. That way, when you can have people move in, it's already there. You don't have to try try spending that 10,000 bells every single time. Um, until then, until next time, uh, definitely check out my last video, which explained how to use QR code so you can get some cool shirts just like the one I am wearing. Um, guys, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter, and I stream on Fridays on Twitch. Definitely check that out. Links will be in the description. And until next time, thanks, and have a good rest of your day.